Hi everybody. Um, this video is showing a basic uh, beer bottle capacitor. It's very simplistic, but it looks really nice in the setup. So here's basically what it's made out of. You've got a wine bottle cap. It's very thin, like aluminum material. You drill a hole in the center of it. Okay. And then you take a bolt that is seven inches long, preferably eight. I'm not sure if they make eight, but eight would work perfectly, but seven will do. And inside there, there's a nut. It's right on the edge inside of here. It's tightened up against that. Then we have another nut on the outside. It's secure against that. As you can see, it's been embedded in there, so it's really secure. And then you have one of these, which can be used. Um, say you want to, when you're wiring it, the reason why you want to have that is because that space right there, you can use to wrap your wire around and then spin this back down and tighten it. So you have a very secure connection. So there's the basic setup of that. This is a demonstration one. Here's the capacitor itself. What we have here is a heavily saturated salt solution. What that means is it's where you heat water and you add salt until you can't add any more salt. So what I've done is I've done I've heated that salt and in here you get a lot of it. I mean, you use like a full container of salt for like a gallon or two. I'm not sure exactly what I used, but so you mix as much salt as can possibly get in there. You can see there's, I don't know if you can see it on my camera, but there's a little bit of salt at the bottom, which that's okay. Some will settle down in here. You can see it. But that's this, it's, that's all that it'll hold. Up here, right when this curve starts, uh, it's mineral oil. It's, and it's, it's an insulator. Because you don't want salt water clear up to the top and it'll arc over to, you know, your your cap. So, that's what that the purpose of that is for. So, when you're, essentially when you're done, you'll have aluminum foil wrapped around all this, including the bottom. And you'll encase it in electrical tape. And you'll have a lead out, a wire coming out with a quick connect on it. That's why this is great up here because you can put a quick connect on it. So that's essentially a beer bottle capacitor. This is actually a clear Izzy soda pop bottle. It's great because I thought, okay, you can see it, which is kind of cool. But brown bottles, like the Samuel Adams one over here that's filled up and I'm getting ready to make, they have more ability to hold a charge, so they have a higher capacitance. So they're better, I guess, you know, than a standard white bottle. But I'm just using that for... It's cosmetic appearance and everything. So this, I'll have six of these lined up in parallel. And this is the base for my Tesla coil that I'm building. It's got a lock, everything. I can put the spark gap down in there. I don't have the spark gap here, so I can't show you it. But you get the basic idea. There's the primary coil. Here's my secondary and the top load, which is this grease catchers for a kitchen stove. I'm trying to find a more suitable top load. If you guys have any ideas, you know, I'd really appreciate it. Um, once I get this all set up next week, because my neon sign transformer is supposed to arrive on Tuesday, I'll set everything up and I'll run it and I'll show you guys you know, my setup and everything. So, uh, this is my Tesla coil and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.